He gets flooded with fan mail from swooning ladies. And back in the day, it was considered a token of affection to include a lock of hair in your love letters. And Lord Byron was inundated with locks of lady hair, all of which, by the way, not from lady heads. Pubes! He yes! got pubes in the mails every now and then. Well, I think that's a, a, an offense now. But back then, <laughs> you yeah. On, no, honestly, Tom, the whole thing, like, I put a locket of your hair inside of my, my pocket watch. You want to lock it in the pube. You know what I mean? Like, ooh. Uh, maybe. Oh, a little bit of pheromones mixed in there, a little bit of smells, a little bit of, ooh. There's a little bit of peanut butter in there. Ooh. There's a little bit of, of uh, Marmite in there. Ooh, I'm what sorry. Is, 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 excuse me, Travis. Before you continue with this fucking <laughs> charade of bullshit, do you think our audience is from 1930? Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. To a topical conversation about people putting lockets of hair <laughs> in. I'm They're just saying, bring just... it back. Hashtag, oh, we already did okay. that 80s shit. We already did that 90s shit. Let's go back to 1930s. Send me pubes. Just imagine an envelope just filled with pubes. Like, <laughs> That's so... what he got, dude. Pretty hot. That's what he fucking got. And Lord Byron, wanted to be, wanting to be like you know an, an outstanding gentleman, he, he fancied to return the favor. You know what I mean? He's like, okay, uh, I'll send you my locks of hair. Do you think he had a landing strip? Like, you think he shaved a little bit? You know, no, like... no. I, I think right. he's full bush, probably full. He had the chin like... strap. Yeah, he had that like <laughs> chin strap over his scrotum. No, was, like pubes go around the balls. Like, yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> like, like a like a trimmed lion's mane just around the scrotum. Yeah. So Lord Byron wanted to return the favor and send locks of hair out. However, he got so much fucking fan mail. And, you know, he's only got one fucking head of hair. He's like, I don't want to fucking shave this all off and, you know, be bald. So he would just fucking grab his dog, Boatswain, and shear some of the hair off of him and send it back to the ladies. Oh! Oh, God. Brilliant. That, I love it. Was that at least the dog's nut hair? Like, I, I, mean, I don't know where he grabbed the dog from. I'm going to say at, at least send his ball hair. And this dog's name was Boatswain? Boatswain, the dog. He's great at naming fucking pets. I love Lord Byron. Think about all those ladies up there in Liverpool rubbing Boatswain all over their junk and bits, you know? Yep. <laughs> rubbing it down. Lord Breathing Byron. it in, like huffing yeah, Boatswain. You know, a nice cut to Boatswain. <sighs> <laughs> you fucking beasts. You animals. Martha, Martha, your naughty bits is showing. <laughs> <laughs> 